Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series. Uh, today's topic is carboxylic acids and derivatives. In this topic, we'll be discussing three subtopics. The first one will be discussing the introduction, and second one, acidity of the carboxylic acids, and the third one, uh, we'll be discussing the summarized reactions of carboxylic acids. So before going deep into the lecture, let me give you a brief introduction of what carboxylic acid is. Uh, a carboxylic acid is an organic compound that contains a carboxyl group, that is COOH group. It contains both carbonyl and hydroxyl group. The general formula of a carboxylic acid is written as RCOOH, where R is alkyl or aryl group. For example, acetic acid, formic acid, oxalic acid, and also includes amino acids as well as fatty acids. So next, we'll come to the acidity of carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids react with metals and alkalis to generate carboxylate ions. These reactions of carboxylic acids indicate their acidic nature. Acidity of carboxylic acids are higher in comparison to simple phenols as they react with weak, weak bases like carbonates and bicarbonates to liberate carbon dioxide gas. So in the explanation for the acidity of carboxylic acid, we'll be discussing three factors. The first factor is the inductive effect. So the uh, minus I effect, that is a minus inductive effect of the carbonyl group facilitate the release of the proton in the carboxylic acids. Also, the carboxyl group is a resonance hybrid and because of the positive charge on the oxygen atom of the OH group, proton release is facilitated. So inductive effect is a movement of electron density through sigma bonds based on the electronegativity. When the acid ionizes uh, in the water, it donates its proton to the water. The conjugate base of the acid, that is the carboxylate ion, is a resonance hybrid of the two equivalent resonating structures. At the same time, since the negative charge is spread, the resonance energy of the anion will be greater than that of the unionized carboxylic acid. The equilibrium constant of the acids will be greater than that of the alcohol. That is, the pKa values of the acids will be lower than those of the alcohols. Carboxylic acids are also more acidic than phenols. So uh, the uh, carboxylic acids are thus uh, more acidic than alcohol as well as phenols. So in the table, I am giving you uh, some pKa values of the uh, carboxylic acids. So the examples given here are formic acid, acetic acid, propionic acid, chloroacetic acid, dichloroacetic acid, trichloroacetic acid, and the last trifluoroacetic acid. The value of formic acid is 3.75, that of the acetic acid is 4.76, and propionic acid 4.87, chloroacetic acid 2.85, dichloroacetic acid 1.25, trichloroacetic acid 0.66, and trifluoroacetic acid 0.23. So in the table we observe that the formic acid is more acidic than acetic acid. It is because of the reason that in the acetic acid we have CH3 group which is electron releasing group. The presence of the electron releasing group decreases the acidic strength of the particular compound. Now, as we come to the propionic acid, the value of pKa is increases. It is because of the fact that in the propionic acid, we find that the alkyl group attached to the carbonyl carbon is the ethyl group, which is more than that of the acetic acid. Now, come to the chloroacetic acid, dichloroacetic acid, and tri trichloroacetic acid. The value of pKa decreases with increase in the number of the electronegative substituents attached to the carbon atom, which is being attached to the carboxyl group. So, with increase in the number of electronegative substituents in the carboxylic acid, we find that the acidity increases 
with increase in the number of electronegative substituents. An increase in its electrophilicity of the carbonyl carbon, the acidity of the acids also increases. Electronegative substituents increase acidity by inductive electron withdrawal. The higher the electronegativity of the substituents, the greater the increase in acidity. So in the halogen group, fluorine is the most electronegative atom and chlorine is next to the fluorine atom. So here in the table, we observe that the trifluoroacetic acid is more acidic than trichloroacetic acid. So uh, in, the, uh, in the table, as I show you, you will observe that the more the number of the electronegative substituents attached to the car carbon atom, which is being attached to the carboxyl group, you will find that the acidity increased with a number of the, uh, with, the, with increase in the number of electronegative substituents. Now come to the reactions of the carboxylic acids. Here I will be discussing four summarized general reaction categories. The first one is as carboxylic acid deprotonates quite readily, it is quite easy to form a carboxylic salt or to substitute the hydroxyl hydrogen. In the second one, the category of nucleophilic acyl substitution represents the substitution of the whole hydroxyl group which leads to several carboxylic acid derivatives. Example, acid halides, esters, amides, thioesters, acid anhydrides, etc. The third category covers the reduction reaction of the carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids can be reduced by reagents like lithium aluminum hydride and also other uh, reagents can also reduce the carboxylic acids. The fourth one is the proton on the alpha carbon can be removed leading to substitution reactions at the alpha site or we can say carboxylic acid can undergo alpha halogenation. For today, I'm winding up my lecture here. In the next video, I'll be teaching you the two important reactions, Hell-Bolhart, Jelinski reaction, and the Smith reactions. Thank you very much.